Man, I love L.A. I love Southern California, especially when our sports teams win. I love, the, I've lo I, excuse me, I love the Lakers. I love USC. I love the Dodgers. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. The Los Angeles Dodgers won their third consecutive NL West title, beating the Giants again for the division. It's incredible. It, it, it's, it's unbelievable. And right now is the time to celebrate. But let's not get our hopes too high for the Dodgers because every single year they go to the playoffs and they struggle. And they usually lose in the playoffs. Now we clinch the division for a third straight year and we're going to be playing the Mets in the first round. The Mets are a great team. The Mets have a deep Solid rotation. They have a deep bullpen. In fact, their rotation is probably better than ours because, as you know, we only really have two great pitchers. And we have probably the best pitching duel in all of baseball with Zach Greinke and Clayton Kershaw. But the Dodgers still have a lot of work to be done. And let's not get too excited. I mean, let, let you know, I'm not satisfied. As a Dodgers fan, I am not satisfied. Now, I'm not trying to sound negative. I'm not, I'm not trying to sound, you, you know, absurd or anything like that. I'm just looking at facts here. The last two seasons, the Dodgers have struggled in the playoffs, and they lost to a, a very good Cardinals team. Now, they don't have to play the Cardinals. Fortun fortunately, they don't have to play them in the first round. They might get them in the second round. If somehow they advance past the Mets, I, I'm not sure that the Dodgers can beat the Mets. If everybody plays well, they can beat the Mets. They will have to finally prove they can, they can survive in the fall months and not only the summer months. See, the Dodgers are a great regular season team, and that's because they usually go on hot spurts, and then suddenly they, they kind of fall cold. Okay, their bats can't be frozen. Um, I mean, it's, it's an erratic offense. We all know that. But their bats have to heat up. Um, they, they can't struggle to produce runs, which we've seen over the years. But the big problem with the Dodgers and where I'm concerned is with the bullpen. I'm very, very concerned about our bullpen. Our bullpen has struggled throughout the season. I mean, we have guys like Hatcher, um, you know, J.P. Hall. Um, the, these guys are, are um, unreliable. They're, they're not you know, uh, um, consistent, you know, they're very shaky, uh, it's their, their performances are unpredictable, you never know what you're going to get from them on a nightly basis, so, I, I mean, if you're a Dodgers fan, you have to be kind of worried here, you have to be kind of concerned with this Dodgers team, and, and you, uh, particularly their bullpen, they struggle late in the season, they should have had, they should have clinched this, this, division title like a week ago when they played teams like the Rockies, a, a team that's below 500 they couldn't even beat, they struggled against. They lost to the Giants last night. They struggled, even though they clinched the division by beating them um, the other night. They, they, they lost last night. Uh, like, it really, like it really matters. It doesn't really matter, but still... In all in all, you want to finish the season very, very strong if you can. And this team has been known for its postseason failures and heartbreaks. And, you know, if you're a Dodgers fan, you got to be a little concerned. You know, you got to be concerned because you can't win with just Zach Greinke and Clayton Kershaw. They can't do it all for you. They can't pitch every night. It's a five-man rotation. So... You have to get something from your other guys. You have to get you have to get something from your other guys in your rotation. It, you, you have to. If not, you're not going to win. Now, the question I have is: Don Mattingly willing to bring these guys back on three days rest? Kershaw is that Granky? You you could probably get away with it against the Mets, but it's going to eventually catch up to Zach Granky. 
and Clayton Kershaw if you constantly use these guys on three days rest. I mean, it's just going to wear down their arms. It's going to be wear and tear on their arms. And I, I just don't think, you know, that's something you want to rely on totally in the playoffs. I, I don't know. Um, whatever it takes to win at this point, but I just think in all, it, it's not the best idea, you know, to use these guys on three days rest all the time. you got to preserve their arms. Because you're going to need them in critical moments of the game. And, you know, I, I just don't know if you want to use them on three days rest. I, I mean, it, it's probably, it'd probably be okay against the Mets. But when, you, when, when they're going to play teams like the Cardinals, it's going to eventually catch up with them. They're going to eventually start feeling fatigued. And, you know, that's not, that's not a good thing necessarily. So... I just don't know. I I don't know, but I have belief in the Dodgers. In fact, I'm going to pick up my shirt probably on Friday. I'm probably going to go to Dodger Stadium or Team LA in uh near the Staples Center. I'm probably going to uh get that Dodger shirt. I like our our team shirts. I like the um uh, the shirts this year. The West is ours, and I'm going to pick up that shirt probably soon. Um. Uh, it's going to be an exciting postseason, but again, I'm just a little worried as a Dodger fan, and and I, I just think there's a lot of work to be done. I mean, there's a lot of work to be done. The Dodgers have to start producing runs. You have to get productivity from guys like Adrian Gonzalez, who could be an RBI machine. You know, you have to get hits from everybody. Everybody has to contribute. It, it's now the postseason. And every win matters. You know, you can't have any mistakes. You know, you got to make every catch. You got to take every swing because one swing at the bat can be that improbable moment for your team. So, I mean, it's going to be big going down the stretch. I just hope that the Dodgers can pull it off. I'm confident that they can pull it off. Of course I'm confident. I'm a fan of the team. So, I want to see them win. I want to see them finally get a World Series championship. And there's an article on, that I read the other day on sportsonearth.com. I can't remember the writer, but um, the writer seems to believe that the Dodgers have what it takes to win the entire World Series. And they do, but the bullpen is going to have to really pick it up. The bullpen is going to have to really, you know, back up. Zach Greinke and, and, and Clayton Kershaw, they're going to really have to come behind them and give it all their effort. You know, if they don't, then no. The Dodgers won't survive the playoffs at all. The Dodgers will be an early exit, just like they were a year ago, if they don't get quality performances out of their relievers. Their relievers have to be on their game. They have to have solid performances. If not, it's over. Okay, what it comes down to in playoff, in playoff baseball is great quality pitching. We all know that. If, if, if your pitching is not on this game, you're not going to win, okay? The Dodgers pitching is very vital right now. It's vital, okay? It, it's very important. Okay, so the bullpen is going to have to play well behind Clayton Kershaw and Zach Greinke. Now, Clayton Kershaw and Zach Greinke, as you guys know, they're, it's the best pitching duo in baseball. These guys can go, these guys can go deep. They can, they can go into the late innings. They can give you seven, eight innings of great pitching. And you can get to your reliever, I mean to your closer, uh, Kenley Jensen. So, I mean, um, there's a possibility that the Dodgers can win the World Series. But right now, my hopes aren't high. I got to see what they do against the Mets first before I can start uh, making assumptions and before I can actually believe in this team. Um, as a fan, though, I'm rooting for the Dodgers. Go L.A. I love L.A. The best team in baseball, I want to believe. I'll see you guys in my next video. I am out.